visionaries. But it was your birthday today. We've got them coming up after this morning's Play Bus. Play Bus! But where does it go? Where does it stop? What's with the sign of the lollipop? Peggy Patch is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? Can you guess where Peggy's got off the bus today? I'll give you some clues. She's at a very empty place. And there's very few trees about. And there's no hedges or fences. But the place is absolutely covered with heather. Can you guess where she is? Peggy's on a heath today, and all this purple stuff is the heather. It's very early in the morning, so there's not a lot about. Oh, Peggy's off to have a game of hide and seek. Why don't you go and see if you can spot her? Someone's been busy here. It's quite a big web on that piece of fern. And the whole place is crawling with spiders. Oh, there's another one over here. Does it look bigger if I put my magnifying glass in? Little drops of water that you can see on the web is called dew. And that only happens when it's really early in the morning. Later on, when it gets warmer, the dew will disappear and it'll make the web really hard to see, especially for the flies that are around, which suits the spider really well, because he'll sit at the edge of the web holding on to it, and if a fly is unlucky enough to fly into it, it'll get trapped and start to struggle, and the spider will feel the struggling and he'll think, ah, there's my dinner, and he'll rush down the web and grab it and eat it. The spiders really like the heather. It's in flower at the moment. And in the old days, people used to cut the heather and put it into their mattresses because they used to say it was very soft and springy. Should we try it and see if it is? Oh, that's quite good. Ah, oh, it is actually, it's very soft and springy. Is that you, Peggy? You still playing hide and seek back there? I wonder if I get up, I wonder if it'll spring back again. Yes, look. You see the way it's come back up again? There's a bird you might hear on the heath called a stone chat. Can you guess why it's called a stone chat? It's because it makes a sound a bit like two stones rubbing together. If you stay very quiet and listen very carefully, you might hear one answering back. Oh, I think I heard one answering then. Peggy Patch has to be very quiet to spot the creature to say hello to. Say hello to this creature. A 
creature with a flicking tongue and a stripy skin who has wide spreading feet with five sharp clawed toes. It's a lizard. Have you seen any yet, Peggy? Actually, you'd be very lucky to see a lizard on the heath because they're only about that big. And as they're brown and they move very quickly, probably the only thing you'll see is this. Heather moving like that as they run around underneath. One place you might see a lizard is on a wall because they like the sun and they like to be warm. Peggy knows a wall nearby where lizards live. See if one pops out. <laughs> Peggy Patch has a book, a book about a friend, a friend who has adventures. What happens in the end? Alice was a second floor cat. She lived in a small flat in the city with a girl named Annie. Every day Alice would look out at the window and wish that she could visit the park across the street, even just once. One spring day Alice got her chance. Annie had left the kitchen window open just a bit. Alice squeezed through without anyone seeing her. She was free. Carefully, she crept along the narrow ledge. It was hard to keep her balance in the strong wind. Alice stopped short. Her path was blocked by a window box full of geraniums. She tiptoed through them and almost lost her balance when a butterfly rose from the flowers and startled her. Alice kept going until the ledge came to an end. The street below looked very far away. What would she do? Alice bravely jumped onto the roof of the building next door. As she landed, she frightened a small bird taking a puddle bath. Alice was tempted to stay and watch the bird, but then she heard something rustling in a nearby tree. It was a tiger cat sitting on a branch. He winked at Alice and disappeared into the leaves. Curious, Alice followed him down the tree. On the ground, the two cats got to know each other. Then off they went, across the street and through the park gates. Alice had reached the park at last. Happily, she rolled in the flower beds. Alice had a wonderful time. She followed the tiger cat to the fountain where they stopped to fish. They prowled round some people finishing lunch and found the perfect picnic under a bench. The two cats paraded past the grandmothers, hoping to be stroked. They joined some children playing marbles. After their jaunt, Alice decided to sunbathe. Her friend wasn't tired, and he played tag with some squirrels. While she was resting, Alice heard an angry noise. A big dog had come out of the bushes and was growling at the tiger cat. Alice was frightened and ran the other way. But the dog spotted Alice and chased after her, nipping at her tail. Over and under, round and round they went, until Alice escaped by jumping onto a statue. The dog ran in circles, barking at her. By the time the dog finally gave up, it was getting dark. Alice jumped down and began to head home. On her way out of the park, she looked for the tiger cat, but he was nowhere in sight. Alice crossed the street and climbed back up the tree. There at the top was her friend. He winked at her and she twitched her tail in response as she hurried on. Alice jumped back onto the rooftop, then to the ledge, and stepped through the geraniums. At last she could see her window. But it was closed. She meowed loudly. Annie's worried face appeared at the window. She'd been searching everywhere for Alice. Where have you been? Annie asked as Alice hopped inside. Alice just purred. She was glad to be a second floor cat again, at least for now.
Do you know what it is? No. It's a beetle. The bit at the back looks a lot like him, a crabs. Do you want to hold it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now. Hang on. There we go. Here goes. Bring it up. There's little bits which there are sticking go. out there. There we go. Flatten your hand. That's little it. Little bits are sticking out here. Looks like. Oh, a... look. It's going on. Look at this. Pointing out there to mm -hmm. spot his body. Looks like little ears. They do, don't they? Pointed ears. Okay, we'll put him back home again. Depend, depend, We can let him go later. Well, how about going to find some insects on the heather then? Okay. Should we go and do that? Okay. Come on then. Okay, so we're going to get you to choose your bit of heather and have a look for some insects, okay? Okay, choose your patches then. Go on. <laughs> Bee. Is that sort of bee? Is that a bumblebee or a honeybee, do you think? Bumblebee. It's a bumblebee, isn't it? It's a bigger one than a honeybee. Oh! Oh, look, yes. What's that then? It's got wings. It's got wings. Has it got any spots on it? How many has it got? Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six. It's got six. What's Look at the back. back. What is Look. it? Got a hole. I think that's where it must be where he keeps his wings inside there. Mm. Where well, you can hold him if you want, don't you, to catch him because he likes his home. Go on, let's see if you can get it then. Hey, he's quiet, isn't he? Let's see if we get onto mine now. Will he go onto mine? Yes. Oh, there he is. Look. Hello, spider. Hello, Mr. Spider. Hello, Mr. Beetle. <laughs> Should I catch him? I'll get a beetle and you get spider. Yes, all right, okay. You got it? Yeah. Right, let's get the spider and go on me. Beetle and a spider. There you go. Oh, did he put the two together? Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh. He's gone around my back. Where's he gone? Get him, get him. Have you got him? Alright, I've got him. Right. Climbing up on the, to the top. Is he? He's on the top, is he? Yeah. Has he stopped? Yeah. Has he stopped on top of my hat, has he? Yeah. Is he? No, is he? Oh, oh he's coming up on the top here. Oh, look at that. I can see his big legs. Look at that. <laughs> Where's he gone? Have you got him? Yeah, I got him. Hey. Yeah. Whoa, oh, here we got him again. Whoa. Oh. So we've got the beetle and the spider. Look at that, look at that. The beetle and the spider on the same arm. <laughs> oh. Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy has found a small wood on the heath. Why is she using a paper and pencil? Peggy's bark rubbing. When she's rubbed the paper with her pencil, it leaves the pattern of the tree behind. And this is a birch. You can tell that because of the lines. And over here is a pine tree. Its bark's a lot rougher. Let's see what happens. Try some green stuff because that's nice and soft. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, that's if you can wrap lots of those around it, make it all colourful. Try it. Make it a bit more. Actually, Try to take a bit more of that off. Make it into a. Back at that. Put it in there like that. See. 
brilliant. That's a good one. And get another black one and do the same again. I'll, I'll make sure that it stays together. Get another black one. Put that. Out. That's it. Oh yes, this is a good bee. This is eh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, jump me to here. Oh, where's, the, where's the other bit gone? Right, do you want me to put that back? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can put that back together again. There we go, put that on there. So, yeah, you put another bit on there. So, I'll hold that there. So, look at that then. There we go. Once a lonely caterpillar sat and cried To a sympathetic beetle by his side I've got nobody to hug oh, I'm such an ugly bug Then a spider and a dragonfly replied If, if you're, you're serious, serious and want to win a bride Come along with us to the glorious and you will love me Pictures of this, pictures of that. I like your picture, says Peggy Patch. You painted them and coloured them with green, red and blue. I like your picture, says Peggy. I hope you like doing them too. A bird into the tree. Could be a stone chat. That. Can you guess what I'm making? Well, I found a few things around lying around here on the heath. And so I've put them together and I've turned it into a mini heath. Lots of dead twigs, some heather. Just to make it a bit more lively. It's a little ladybird who lives there. And don't forget the lizard, a creature with a flicking tongue, a stripy skin, who has wide spreading feet and five sharp clawed toes. Oh, there's the bus. Peggy, you can bring your insects with you, but it's time to go now. The bus is here. I think you'll find another patch to stop and play in next week. So we'll see you there. <laughs>